Welcome to Tea Talk Sketching with Tai Wing. In this episode today, I'm gonna sketch one of Tai Wing Atelier's design worn by the supermodel Chanel Iman. Chanel Iman wore this dress to the Vogue CFDA fun dinner. This is actually the first Tai Wing Atelier's design were placed on the red carpet. But today, I'm gonna sketch Chanel Iman's dress. Who's your gown by? Tai Nguyen. So this dress is actually a two-piece combo made out of silk four-ply crepe. Really soft, really expensive, really luxurious. And there's special, special detail. It's all the hand beading on the crop top. The total amount of hours to do this hand beading is about 120 hours because every single little beads you see in the detail shots, it's an abstract rose. So when you look at it from far away, it, it, it just looks like an abstract art, but it's actually a pattern of a rose and it has three different colors. It's gray, silver, silver gray, black, and like a light dusty pink. In order to sketch this dress today, what I need is first, we need a pencil, eraser, and a pencil sharpener. Because the dress is white, so we don't really need the color, but we need some gray marker. So I have like a light gray, 20% gray, and a 40% gray to give the shadow of the white. You need this skin tone. I'm using this light tan. Color. We have the black pencil and the light pink pencil. A little light pink marker for to sketch out the beading part. I would need this fine micron pen number three. It's really fine to go over all the details after we did the whole sketch in pencil first. To add some sparkle, I'm using some silver nail polish to give that little shine. So nail polish work really well for any kind of embellishment for sketching. I'm gonna start sketching now. Under my paper, I have the crow key because we I don't want to waste so much time drawing the crow key so I'm using the crow key that I have kind of like an outline where I want to sketch I'm not gonna sketch her face because the sketching is about the dress so I will just focus on the dress first usually I start out by sketching the whole thing in pencil just a regular number two pencil
So basically we have the top and the skirt. So the skirt's high waisted. That's basically So, front and the back, crop top and the pencil skirt. The strap in the front and the strap in the back. So for her skin, we're gonna use this light tan marker.
you want it to highlight wherever that you see her skin. So that's her skin. Now I'm gonna use this light gray, this cool gray, like 20% cool gray, to highlight the white dress. Because it's a white dress and the paper is white, so we don't really color the white, we just highlight the silhouette of the dress. You see the shadow. Next, I'm gonna do the detail of the beading of the rose. So I have the black pencil, the pink pencil, and the little pink marker. And if you look carefully, the pink is like on the top area and a little bit on the side. A little on top. Sketch these beading details really fast, but when you do the actual beading, it takes a very long time. Beads by beads. Next, I'm gonna do a little gray. We use the pencil to create some smooth shadow. Black is more like in the middle. You can see the placements of the color of the beading already. Next, I'm gonna use this really fine black pen to go over the detail and just kind of define the edges. With the black, as you can see.
it looks like she's wearing like dark gray gunmetal shoes. So I'm just gonna do this like dark gray. shiny shiny gunmetal so there's a little shadow here so we leave a little shadow there and then the heels dark but it looks like it's probably Christian Louboutin so we'll give her a red soul so In the picture, uh, Chanel, she had a nude lip, but you can't really see on sketching. So I'm gonna give her a little red lip and maybe some red soles for her shoe. Maybe she's wearing Christian Louboutin. Gray gunmetal Christian Louboutin. Usually I, I take this sand color, it's kind, kind of like a neutral skin tone color to go over the skin and then I'm going to contour it with the darker color to match her skin color. Contour, a little bit more contour. So I'm gonna do this side dark. You know, I want to add a little more shadow on the, the silhouette of the white dress. Yes, 
I like it more. Now I want to show more the stroke of the beading. In here you can see that it's like stripey, that it's not just dot dot dot. The little detail really says a lot in the picture. One last thing is that we want to add some shimmer, some silver to the beading at the bust area and some gray shimmer to her shoes. So I'm gonna use this little silver nail polish to create the effects. Just a little, but it makes a big difference. It's so pretty. And I think that should be good, right? You don't need to add a lot, just a little, but it makes a big difference with this, um, with the shimmer, with the nail polish, and you just have to wait until it's dry. One last thing is my signature. Every artwork should be copyrighted to somebody, and this is mine. It belongs to Tai Wing. After everything is dry, the marker is dry, the nail polish is dry, then you go in and you erase all the pencil marks just to, to make the whole thing clean. That's it. Here is the complete sketch. Of Chanel Iman wore Taiwan Atelier to the Vogue CFDA dinner. This is Chanel. And this is the sketch. Well, that was fun. Sketching can be very therapeutic, and to me, it really helps me calm and be creative and just let my imagination go wild. Sometimes I just sketch endlessly. Sometimes the sketch becomes the reality, and sometimes it will never become reality. But it can be a fantasy, and in life, we should always sketch, no matter what happens. Because sometimes it's a fantasy, and sometimes it could be a really beautiful reality. Thank you for watching. Thank you for taking your valuable time to watch my channel. I know there are many, many different choices out there for you to watch. But since you took out your time to watch my channel, and if you want to see more of me, please subscribe to my channel. And again, be sure to stay true to who you are, be yourself, have fun, life is too short, and live for fashion, set the trend. Thank you for watching. See you again in the next clip.